We are back on the road. We finished our quarantine, had a little bit of time with family, and now we're heading to the Georgian Bay in Ontario. So that's in the Great Lakes. And the reason for going over there is that we're getting to see my brother's sailboat. And it's, it's a very, very special sailboat. It's beautiful. So we're gonna be there for a couple of days and we'll tour you around the boat and go for some sailing. Well, we made it, 10 hours, and we're here at Hinson Marina. Let's go. Hinson Marina is located in Penetanguishan, in the southeastern portion of the Georgian Bay. On a side note, Nico is one of the two diesel mechanics who gave us their time and their knowledge to help bring our little Yanmar 2GM back to life after sailing for months without it, all over the Bahamas. <laughs> Hey. Wow, what a nice boat! Oh, hey. Look at that, that's such wow. a nice boat. That's crazy. Like traditional windows, the wood. Super set. Ah, moi je l'ai essayé, je me suis lavé dedans déjà. Bah oui, il y a la marina des fois. That's nice with all the wood, eh? Super. Oh! Shut the Sea Dragon sails design and rig are so different than ours. It was going to be a steep learning curve. None of us had had any experience with a Chinese junk rig schooner, so we dove into the manual. The first thing we read was, forget everything you know about sailing. Sounds reassuring, right? Bermudan style, you know? Yeah, the rope, the rope wouldn't <laughs> the be there. The rope like a choke line. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because you got the turnbuckles. Sh shock line. But you got the turnbuckles there, so you'd think, oh, okay, I could tighten with the turnbuckles. But then you see all the setup, and like that's it, what is it? A chuck line, you said? A shock line. A shock yeah. line. Yeah, it's, it works like a, ch a shock. The next morning, my three and a half year old yeah. nephew was excited. Yeah. And he came to wake up Cory. Ah! Time to go sailing. Who is excited? Oh, come on, everyone's half asleep. <laughs> Today is a really, really exciting day. We haven't gone sailing in a few months with our boat on the hard and the hurricanes and being separated from it. But right now we are aboard the Sea Dragon in the Georgian Bay and we're gonna go sailing. It's not too too much but wind but there's still a little breeze so it's gonna be fun trying out this uh, schooner and seeing a different way of sailing, different sails. such a nice boat, beautiful day. We got some nice weather after all that rain. I'm only just beginning to see how different it is, but from all our talking, it's like a completely different boat. But I mean, for instance, he's got like an 80 horsepower engine compared to our 13 horsepower. And we're going six and a half knots at 1,500 RPMs. I mean, for us to go six and a half knots, we almost gotta go 2,500 or more. And this is a bigger boat, heavier boat, so it actually goes faster. Uh, because it's got more water line, but yeah, it's just crazy. Anyway, it's different. It's, it's fun to be on another boat, and so, especially something so special like this particular boat. I can't wait to get up the sails. I'm so excited! 
excited. It's uh, after like doing quarantine and having stressful travel, this is pure bliss. Being back in a boat, even though it's like cold October, oh, well, we get all the colors and it's sunny and oh, it's just my brother has had that dream of having a sailboat forever and we ended up being the first ones to get a sailboat. So it's just so nice to be on his boat with him and get to experience this together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I would cross there. Yeah, we're on the other side of that. Well, we're not going. sailboat and with the compass it would just go crazy on a steel sailboat so you need to have those balls to calibrate everything with their true north I believe so that she can actually have a compass that works and doesn't spin in circles. The way you hoist the Chinese junk sails is very different. There's no winches but one of the rig's advantages is easier use. The junk sails used to be made of woven mats reinforced with bamboo battens running the full length of the sail. Oh, he wants a little batten. Such a cool looking sail. I know! It's, it's actually quite manageable, you know? Like it's, it's yeah, like the, the other one is something else. Right now there's not a lot of wind so it's not pulling it the way I would expect it. I was really happy to have light winds because it was slightly intimidating to figure out how the sails worked. It felt as if I was learning how to sail all over again. Fortunately, the head sail was exactly like ours on a roller furler. Hello, I am Jean-Nicolas, the brother of Alexandra. And this is my boat, the Sea Dragon. Uh, it's a Thomas Calvin custom build in 1985. It was built in Michigan. It's an all steel hull construction, steel deck, uh, with Chinese uh, junk rig. Hey, c'est tu beau ton bateau? C'est fou. What do you think about it so far? I'm in love. <laughs> I love it. My brother, Jean-Nicolas, is a naval mechanic engineer who sailed all over the world while working on big ships. And you could tell he was extremely comfortable on a boat and driving it. You should hear the stories of crazy storms in the middle of the ocean, having to cut loose containers or of pirates in Asia. His years of experience and seamanship way surpasses mine. So it was kind of funny teaching him the sailing aspects and strength the wind for a different sail configuration, for example. It was his first sailboat and what a special one to learn on. How's the view from up there? <laughs> All what my nephew wanted to do was to go to the beach. The Georgian Bay was so calm that we jumped in the dinghy to get a better look at this unique sailboat. A Thomas Colvin design of a gazelle custom sailing catch. The junk sail rig is so different from our Bermuda sloop rig, which most modern sailboats have. It's gonna be some nice shots, I think. Yeah, we can.
After feeling a little more comfortable with the junk sails, we decided it was time to hoist the fisherman's sail in between the two masts. This sail really added a lot of beauty to the Chinese junk. Good thing we had light wind to have all the sails out, which was also a first for Nico. Junk sails can even be used on unstayed masts, although some, like the Thomas Colvin design, have minimal rigging. This is probably why the rig was a lot looser than ours. This type of rig incurs way less stress on the hull and rig comparing to the Bermuda sail rig. The junk rig displaces the stress loads more evenly and effectively across the sails, mast, and hull, which in turn results in lower strains overall. And I don't think we were the only ones that were mesmerized by the looks. Other boats would come and see it, and even a power boat followed us for a while. That was a video. Sneeko driving his boat, right? The flat cut junk sails make use of a natural driving force oh, so created nice. by a purpose made sail design, as opposed to the high efficiency curves built into the Bermuda sails. Those ones depend on modern materials to hold their shape. Mocha! Mocha! The boat dug! She won't. She has a life jacket if she does. <laughs> Junk sails are self-tacking, uh, which means you don't need to trim the sail after tacking. There was so much to play with and to learn. Right up Corey's alley. You can hoist and lower sails regardless of the wind direction. Unlike our rig that we have to point into the wind. This sailboat was so unique with its rigging and wooden blocks. Or the way the junk rig sails are attached to the mast, no boom required. <laughs> so you see those two men, but they're all like your blocks, they're all made out of wood. Couldn't have asked for a better fall day to go for a sail on the Sea Dragon in the Georgian Bay. Perfect end to our season. Yeah, it's sailing really well, eh? <laughs> yeah. I, I, but you know what? I think they mean at, at a high speed, right? Like if you wanted to go uh, as upwind as these guys are going. and Corey couldn't help himself and crawled to the tip of the bowsprit for a different view of Nico's Chinese junk. That's so cool. I've never been on such a big bowsprit. Pourquoi que tu veux tourner la clé? Non, papa, on veut aller à la plage. Tu veux aller à la plage? 
Tu veux quoi que tu veux tourner la clé? Non, c'est papa! C'est papa? Oui, on a la musique. Ok! What a What's happening, sweet? Yeah. We'll go faster if we turn the key, he says. <laughs> Even at three and a half, my nephew knew that we would go faster with the engine. He really wanted to go to the beach. We did turn on the engine after all, but mostly because we needed to return to the dock and get the boat ready for a haul out the following day. Too bad we couldn't explore more of the Georgian Bay, which is apparently spectacular. Some even call it the Caribbean of Canada. So it was such a, a different experience, a really cool sailboat to, to sail and to, to be on. I feel so fortunate to, to be doing this. It's uh, an experience of a lifetime for sure. I never thought, you know, a sailboat rigged differently and like different styles of sails would, would act so differently. Every sailboat is different, but this was a whole nother, another thing, different than most sailboats even. So it's just crazy. It was a cool experience. That was awesome. Thank you, Gally. That was so much fun. Yeah, I look forward to getting out again one day. Well, cheers oh. to all of you and to sailing. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Oh. What have you got there? Fajitas. I make homemade turkey oh. from Vero. Oh, okay. We have the. It's kind of sad, this year we get to experience two end of season in two months. So today is the day that my brother hauls out his boat. So we were lucky to go and get a little bit of sailing prior to him taking it out for the winter. A 42 foot long steel sailboat was really heavy at 26,000 pounds. Even with a good trailer and fully inflated wheels, you could tell that it was quite the load. 